Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today I would like to talk about Al-Quran. Introduction is Al-Quran is the word of Allah that was passed to the Prophet Muhammad to bring mankind out of the darkness uh, of disbelief to the light of faith. The holy book of Al-Quran has passed to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to Malaikat Jibril in stage 20 years and then in Al-Quran have 30 juzu and 140 surah. After that, the content of the Quran include verses that touch on various aspects of human life such as organizing community life, ways of worship, sharing of inheritance, family affairs, administrative and national affairs, education, economy and so on. As we know, Al-Quran is the most important for Muslim because with Al-Quran, uh, Muslim never lost the straight way. Um, in Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam era, Al-Quran is using for reference in passing the law for our daily life and for punish uh, guys. After Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away, the companions used the uh, Al-Quran for, for reference to making a new hukum. The word Sunnah has several different yet close meaning. Sunnah may mean a way of life or a past or behavior that is followable whether praiseworthy or otherwise. Mostly, it refers to something good. Another Arabic root of the word Sunnah is bayan, or making something clear through talking or action by prophet. According to the legal theories of Sharia, typically regard to the Sunnah has a source for the principles used in the derivation of ruling of various Islamic jurisprudence matter. According to scholar of Hadith, it's more comprehensive for it is inclusive of everything related to the person and life or the Prophet. So included meaning, during the Prophet life, his follower observed his, his behavior and his will which would have followed the Sunnah. The Sunnah is divided into three types that is verbal, actual, and tacity and proverb. The verbal Sunnah consists of the saying of the Prophet on any subject. The actual Sunnah consists of his deed and actual instruction such as the way he performed the salah or the transaction concludes such as sale or giving loan. Istihsan It is something that deemed to be better or the best which only happens towards a specific hukum on a specific circumstance such as wakaf, rent or sales contract. There are six varieties of it. The first one is based on kias khafi or hidden analogy such as the case of wakaf of land in which everything within the land is included despite not being specified within the contract. The second one is based on Nas in the Quran and the Sunnah. For instance, the contract of Ijara such as the case of friends in which money is given first prior to receiving a service. Another example is Habar al Sartu or the option to cancel a purchase. The third istisan is that has been authorized by Ijma such as istisna or the contract of buying manufactured goods that is not yet in existence and can be only attained once the good is created. The fourth one is based on darurah or emergency, in which something that is once haram can be changed to halal, such as the purification process of contaminated water. The fifth is the sun is something that is customary, meaning a good that is not specified or quantified precisely but is deemed customary by the general consensus. For example, the case of Bay al Ta'ati or the Akkad during selling and purchasing. The last variety is something that is founded on maslaha or public interest. For instance, Bani Hashim or the generation of the Prophet Muhammad were prevented to receive zakat. However, it has been ruled out and those in need are to be given said zakat. Makosid Sharia means some, the objective of Islamic law and legislation. The primary objective of Sharia is the realization of benefit to Muslims regarding their affairs 
in the world and in the hereafter. In short, it is to bring rahmat or blessings and to prevent chaos. There are three categories of Makasih Syariah. The first one is Daruriyat or the Essentials, which focus on protecting the main scars of Islam. Adin, personal iman, anafsu, life, al ir dignity or family lineage, al-aklu, mind or intellect, and al-mal, property or belonging. The second one is hajiyat or the complementary, which means something that if neglected would bring hardship towards Muslims. For example, rusa or legal excuse, which relaxes the law towards an individual in dire need for survival. That is, he or she need to act beyond Sharia legality in order to protect his or her life. And the third and final one is tahsiniyat or embellishment, in which a certain matter would lead to a desirable improvement. For instance, the observance of cleanliness and hygiene can lead to better state of health, be it towards the body or the mind. Qiyas means analogical deduction by Muslim jurists on cases not specified in the Quran, Sunnah or Ijma. The arkan or rukun of Qiyas include Aslu, original case, Furu, new case, illa, respective cause and Hukum, rule. The Hukum must be practical towards Sharia ruling must be operative, rational towards the human intellect or make sense, is not confined to an exceptional situation or a particular case, and the law of the text is not a departure from the general rules of Qiyas. For Furu, it should be a matter that is not covered in the Quran, Sunnah or Ijma. It should be applicable to the Furu as it is towards Aslu, and it should not be the result of alterations or overrulings of the Qiyas. As for illa, it is something that is constant attribute or mundabit that is applicable to all cases regardless of time, place, individual and circumstance. It should be something that is evident or zahir, must be a proper attribute and is transferable to other cases. al ihtisab in term of language means friendly, together, demanding friendship and always along the way. While demeaning in term of the argument, that value a thing as long as nothing change it. Or in other meaning is the decision from the past is based on the original law that still apply for now and future. This is happening because they do not have any proposition argument change their condition. In this hub, there have a several division from it. After Allah has said that the law of riba is prohibited, all Muslim is worried because they doubt if the way that they can their property is lawful or illegal in Islam. Thus, in this verse was explained that all the buy and sell which have the element of riba, before this verse came based on the principle, is free from the burden, which is taklif. Indirectly, it can be stated that there is no obligation until Allah and Prophet Muhammad announce it is prohibited in Islam. However, there is still confusion and difference opinion among the scholars regarding on the last four sections. The difference in opinion is divided into three groups, which is the opinion first is a Mazhab Maliki, Shafi'i and Hanbali. They say all is this up is an argument which is disclaimer or fix. Then the second group Mazhab which is the few scholars of the last Hanafi says that al istisab is just for the argument and disclaimer. The third group, which is majority scholars of Hanafi and a few scholars of Kalam, says that al istisab is not an or argument at all. From etymological point of view, maslahah musala is a combination of two words, which are maslaha and musala. The term maslaha is actually is an Arabic term, which bring the meaning al salah is like al manfa, which mean al naf or benefit. For easier understanding, it can be said as something that bring benefit, good, or something that good we can use. In term of istilah, maslaha is a benefit that have been set up by Allah to their servant. The scholars has divided maslaha into a several division. At this section is also divided into a several section which are Maslahat Darudiyah. 
Maslaha Daruriyah is a main thing in our life that cannot be ignored. If this is ignored, it will be a serious problem in human life and lost balance in hereafter. This Maslaha can be defined as a five basic things need to be protected which are life, property, mind, religion and destiny. Maslaha Hajiya can be defined as a requirement to human life to easier their life and to avoid from being harmful. If this thing being ignored, it did not bring any shortcoming. For an example, for this Maslaha is Rukhsah in performing prayer for the traveller which is exceeding 92 km or 2 marhala. This section is Maslaha Tahsiniyah which is can make our life complete and perfect. If this maslah be ignored, it does not bring a serious problem to human life. However, if this thing being ignored, there will be no perfection or complete in our life. This maslah can be defined such as keeping manners while eating and wearing beautiful clothes. Sar al zarain is a combination of two Arabic terms. These terms are needed to be explained by each word for easier understanding for their meaning. Al Sa'ad brings the meaning of lifting, lifting up or prevent, while Al Zara'in means the mediation to the way of some nature. Based on research, Imam Al Shatibi had divided Al Zara'in into four sections. Each section has their own effect the level of harm, which is Mufsada and their law, which the first is some act or doing that is should or mobile that can surely bring to harmful or danger which is mufsadah, which means someone or mukallaf can feel confidently that what he is doing can bring harmful to the other's people for or for himself. For an example, digging a hole like a well at the dark place where people cannot see it and it could be a main way used by people. The scholars agreed to prohibit this situation. Secondly, doing that is should, mobile, but rarely to bring harmful and danger. For an example, planting a grape tree to eat the grape. However, the grape may be processed by other people to make the alcohol, which is alkamar. Next doing that is should mobile but often being harmful which is mafsada. In order, if this thing happen, it will bring a huge possibility to be harmful but it is not a strong assumption. Fiqh maxim or known as Qawaiid Fiqiyah are the general rules of the Sharia. They are useful in a variety of cases and as the main method in deducing many rules. It is discipline of knowledge to deduce hukum from the general dalil to support in describing law that is not mentioned in Quran and Sunnah. Fiqh maxim is the result of study on ijma and fatwa from Islamic scholars and the objective is to find the principle of equality related of the law of Sharia. There are five Quran fiqiyah. The first one is Al-Umurubi Bimakosidha. Matters are judged according to their intention. The second one is Al-Yakinu La Yazulu Bishak. Certainty is not removed by doubt. The third one is Al Adatu Muhakkamatu. Custom is a proof. The next, Al Mashakatu Tajliba Taisir. Difficulty brings easy. And the last one is Al Yuzal. Harm is removed. What is Al Umur Rubi Makosidiha? Al Umur Rubi Makosidiha is in Islamic law on human deed will be judged based on his desire. And so Hukum also will be judged based on his desire. Objective or known as a niya, is the main key for character for deciding whether criminal act is punishable or excusable. For example, if an individual kill another with the intention of killing him and kills him and he said he wanted to kill him. So conclusion of this situation, he considered killing with intention and he can be punished. On the other hand, individual might be accidentally killing another. The proof that he does not willing to kill indicate the intention of the person is not killing but it happened accidentally. Al Yakinu la Yazulu Bishak. Al Yakinu means certainty mean while Al Shak mean doubt. Something which is confirmed cannot be replaced by doubt. This method is important to ensure us to the concept of the convenience in order to avoid the problem that sometimes afflict us. 
by determining a legal certainty by reject doubts. For example, Ahmad, sure, he still has wudu, but after that, he hesitated whether he still have a wudu or not. Based on this situation, he considered still have wudu because before he's sure that he still has a wudu. His confidence cannot be overstated by his doubt. Al-adatu muhakkamatu means al-ada is something repetitive or can be understood as a norm. In other words, act of someone which can be accepted continuously by human and it done repeatedly. Among the act that the law of Prophet Muhammad is based on custom is when the Prophet came to Medina, they, the inhabitants of Medina, used to give advance money to fruits for a year or two years. Then the Prophet said, whoever give the down payments to the fruit, then give the deposit is at a certain dose, a certain scale, and a certain time. But there is condition and a term of for validate al ada as legal source. al mashakatu tajribat taisir. The difficulty brings easy. al mashakka tajribat taisir means a difficulty requires easy. Basically, something which contains difficulty in doing it or contains risk to doing it whether to own body, soul, or property. As the Prophet said, religion is a simple, not burdensome, riwayat Bukhari and Muslim. For example, of leniency is when Muslims traveling or musafir, they are allowed to combine and shorten their prayer which is known as jama and qasa. And the last one is al yuzal, injury must be removed. al mean injury and yuzal mean removed. Some of Muslim scholars state as harm should be eliminated. This method show us something which can cause harm must be eliminated. The source of this principle is taken from the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad La dara wa la dirar, meaning do not cause harm nor respond to harm with harm. Ibn Majah Hila is from Arabic words which is defined as ingenuity, engineering, deception and strategy. Therefore, Hila can be interpreted as an effort to get something in a smart way. To be more detailed, a shatibi as quoted by Yudian, define and give example related to it that when believers do certain method to avoid an obligation or to try to make prohibited goods become halal for himself. By using this method, it causes something that is obligated to turn to not mandatory. But several people see how Hila working is intended to legalize something illegal. So, clearly, it is prohibited by religion, but it is happened oppositely if hilah is done without the intent of not legalize something illegal, then this kind of hilah are permissible in religion. Uruf According to Abu Sunnah, Uruf is everyone that stay within the mind can be accepted by good habits. Jurisprudence define Uruf as everyone who remain with a common sense and accepted by good habit, and it's done by human and permissible by sharia. Uruf linguistically is something good can be accepted by healthy mind. So, Uruf and tradition according to Fokaha, they, they bring same definition. We can relate Uruf and tradition. This is based on verses in Quran, take what is given freely, enjoy what is good, and turn away from the ignorant. Al-Araf 199 as the example, transaction is by without akad, such as buyer told to seller, I buy this item and I sell this item. This is because the buyer and seller already agreed to do the transaction without any coercion. Even though, if we refer to condition of akad, it's true akad, but however, this contract hardly used by most people. 